All right, I have a lot more questions here I need to catch up on. And uh, the first one here is from uh, Inner Hawk, and he says, when using auto ISO and manual, how is the best way to adjust exposure? All right, so whenever you use auto ISO in manual mode, basically you're asking the camera to calculate the exposure by adjusting the ISO, and then you take control of the aperture and shutter speed. And, you know, you want to know how to adjust exposure, and the only way to really do that uh, when you're in auto ISO mode is to use exposure compensation. Now, exposure compensation just simply a way to brighten or darken an image off the base exposure of what the camera thinks is correct. So if you want a little brighter image, you would dial in a positive exposure compensation. And if you want a darker image, you would just dial in negative exposure compensation. And there's multiple ways to do this, depending on which camera you have. And he didn't specify which one you had, but uh, I'm going to show for the benefit of everyone how to do this on the OM-1 and the M5 Mark III. All right, so I have the uh, OM-1 right now in manual mode. So the rear dial is shutter speed. The front dial controls the F number or aperture. So we can make adjustments here. Now on the OM-1, by default, we have an exposure compensation button right here. So what you would do is push and hold this and rotate the rear dial uh, to adjust the exposure compensation. So I'm going to go ahead and press and hold this. And now you can see that the uh, front and rear dial for shutter speed and uh, aperture have uh, turned white, and now exposure compensation is uh, yellow. So again, you have to press and hold the exposure comp button, and then you can just dial in plus or negative. So that's probably by far the easiest way to do it. Uh, however, there's a couple other ways to do this. So let's go into the menu, and we'll go into the cog menu, button settings button function, and we want to go down here to the uh, D-pad and click on that. And you want to select uh, this option here where each arrow pad can be assigned a direct function when they are pressed while shooting. If you select this, then the D-pad becomes like mo for moving your target point around, which is kind of redundant because we already have a joystick. So select this as your uh, direct function for the D-pad, and then scroll down, and then you can assign the right arrow and the bottom arrow to be uh, whatever you want. So we'll click OK here, and I've set it to exposure compensation. I mean, you can set it to anything you want, but I've set the right arrow to exposure comp like this, and then the down arrow I assigned to uh, uh, controlling the shutter mode. And now, when instead of pushing and holding the exposure compensation button on top, because that, that might be a little awkward for some people, right? All you have to do is push and hold the right arrow on the D-pad, and now you can see exposure comp is lit up, and in this case, you can rotate the front dial instead. So that's one way. And then finally, the other way is via the uh, function lever. So let's go into the menu. Go back to the cog menu and go to dial settings and then dial function for the shooting uh, picture mode or photo mode. And then you go down here to manual and bulb mode and click OK here. And again, by default in lever position one, it's set to uh, front dial is aperture, rear dial is shutter speed. But you can go over here and assign the front dial to exposure compensation. Uh, and the rear dial to say shutter speed. And I always like the rear dial on the function two lever to match whatever I set the rear dial to the uh, function one lever, just so I don't get confused. Uh, but what's gonna happen now, in lever position one, the front and rear dials are at their normal default settings, but I can flip it to position two, and now I can adjust exposure comp with the front, uh, rotating the front dial as you can see here. And then when I want to go back to uh, adjust my aperture, I just flip it back up, and now I'm back to aperture, and I can flip it down for exposure comp. Okay, now we're on the M5 Mark III, and it's virtually identical to what we did on the OM-1, except for the menu is slightly different, but we still have an exposure compensation button, so if we push and hold that, we can rotate the rear dial to make adjustments to exposure comp. We can also assign the D-pad, just like we did on the OM-1 and also the function lever. 
The only difference is we don't have a D, uh, joystick, so you may not want to assign the D-pad to the uh, to be a direct function. But uh, let's go into the menu, and we're going to go to the cog menu, same as before. Go to button function, click on that, and then just scroll down until you see uh, direct function or the D-pad assignments, and you click over, and you can assign this to be your directional pad for your targeting point or a direct function. So we'll select direct function. And just as before, I have the down arrow assigned to uh, directing the shutter mode and then the right arrow assigned to exposure comp. So all I have to do is push and hold this and then I can rotate the front dial to adjust exposure comp. And then for the function lever, We'll go back into the button function, but this time we're going to, I'm sorry, we'll go back into the cog menu. We'll go to dial uh, function, go down here to uh, manual and bulb mode, click over to the right. And for function or position lever one, we have it set the shutter and F number. And then uh, we'll click the info button. And now we can assign uh, function lever two. So I'm going to assign the front dial to. Um, exposure compensation, and the rear dial to be the same as I had on function lever one, which would be shutter. And now we have front and rear dials for shutter and aperture. But if I flip this to position two, now the front dial becomes exposure comp and the rear dial remains shutter speed. So as you can see, there's a lot of different ways to set up exposure compensation on either camera. You know, just pick the one that works best for you and your workflow. But keep in mind any other customizations you may have done on the camera and that they don't conflict with any of the settings for the exposure compensation you want to set up. Uh, but generally speaking, if it were me on the OM-1, uh, I would probably use the D-pad uh, for exposure compensation uh, because we have a joystick, so it's not going to conflict with me moving the target point around. Unlike on the EM5 Mark III, I would probably use the front dial to adjust exposure compensation because I do use the D-pad a lot for moving the target point around. And then I could reassign the exposure compensation button on either camera to something a little more useful, like maybe uh, bracketing or HDR or whatever. So for everyone watching, thanks again for your questions, and I still have a lot to catch up on, so stay tuned for those. And if you find these videos helpful, consider making a small donation on links below, because they help me to continue making videos like this, and they are greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.